Royal Riddle, Meghan Markle, Vogue, and Anna Wintour's Decree. Meghan Markle's journey from a Hollywood actress to a member of the British royal family has been nothing short of a fairy tale, albeit one peppered with scandal and speculation. Yet the latest twist in her saga takes us into the sophisticated, sometimes ruthless realm of high fashion, where Anna Wintour, the omnipotent editor-in-chief of American Vogue, has purportedly decreed that Meghan shall no longer grace its illustrious cover. The intricacies of this story, and what it reveals about the interplay between royalty and fashion, are worth delving into with a cup of Earl Grey in hand. The Intersection of Royalty and Fashion the relationship between royalty and fashion has always been a source of public fascination. Royals often become icons of style and trendsetters. Their sartorial choices scrutinized and emulated globally. Meghan Markle was no exception. During her tenure as a senior working royal, she was a regular on magazine covers, celebrated not just for her royal status, but also for her fashion sense. However, since stepping back from royal duties, the narrative seems to have shifted dramatically. On July 1, 2024, news broke that Meghan had been denied the opportunity to be featured on the cover of American Vogue. This decision, reportedly made by Anna Wintour, has sparked a flurry of discussion and speculation. Wintour, known for her decisive and often controversial choices, is said to believe that Meghan's allure has diminished following her departure from royal duties. Without the weight of her title, Meghan's presence in the fashion world, it seems, has lost some of its shine. A comparison with royal predecessors. To understand this development, one might consider the experiences of other former royals. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, and the late Princess Diana both faced similar declines in Vogue's favor after stepping back from their royal roles. While their fashion influence waned, their personal styles remained as compelling as ever. Meghan's case appears to follow this pattern, reinforcing the notion that royal titles significantly bolster a person's standing in the fashion world. The role of Anna Wintour. Anna Wintour's influence in the fashion industry cannot be overstated. Her preferences and decisions shape trends and can make or break careers. Thus, her alleged decision to exclude Meghan from the Vogue cover carries substantial weight. However, attributing this solely to Meghan's supposed irrelevance might be an oversimplification. Wintour is known for her bold, often unpredictable choices. She has historically embraced figures who challenge norms and redefine standards. Meghan's exclusion could reflect a myriad of factors, including personal biases or strategic editorial decisions. The digital age and changing influences. The rise of social media and direct-to-consumer platforms has democratized influence, allowing personalities to maintain or even enhance their public profiles independent of traditional gatekeepers. Meghan's substantial online following and her ability to connect with audiences directly suggest that her influence extends beyond the pages of fashion magazines. In this digital age, public engagement can sometimes outweigh industry approval. Meghan's continued influence. Despite the speculated setback, Meghan's influence remains significant. Her charitable endeavors, public appearances, and social media presence keep her in the public eye. While the fashion industry may see her differently post-royalty, her personal brand continues to resonate with a global audience. This evolving landscape suggests that traditional metrics of relevance are no longer the sole determinants of influence. A critique of the fashion industry. One could argue that the fashion industry's reliance on titles and perceived relevance is somewhat archaic. The refusal to feature Meghan on Vogue's cover might reveal more about the industry's limitations than her own. It raises questions about the industry's inclusivity and adaptability in recognizing and celebrating diverse forms of influence and accomplishment. Anna Wintour's stance, if accurately reported, could be seen as a reflection of an industry grappling with maintaining its traditional gatekeeping role in a rapidly changing world. The broader implications. Meghan Markle's situation highlights a broader cultural shift. The traditional power structures within media and fashion are being challenged by new forms of celebrity and influence. This dynamic shift means that public figures can cultivate and sustain their relevance through various channels, regardless of the industry's gatekeepers. Megan's ability to engage with her audience directly may provide her with a lasting influence, 
independent of her royal status or fashion industry endorsements. Conclusion The exclusion of Meghan Markle from Vogue's cover, purportedly by Anna Wintour, adds a fascinating chapter to the ongoing narrative of her post-royal life. It underscores the evolving dynamics between royalty, fashion, and influence. While Meghan may face challenges within traditional fashion circles, her digital presence and personal brand remain robust. This saga serves as a reminder of the shifting sands of celebrity and influence in the 21st century, where audience engagement can rival, if not surpass, industry approval. In the end, Meghan's story is emblematic of a broader transformation within the spheres of fashion and media. It invites us to reconsider the true sources of influence and relevance in a world increasingly driven by digital connections and personal authenticity. Whether on the cover of Vogue or through her own platforms, Meghan Markle continues to captivate and inspire, navigating the complexities of fame with the grace of a true modern-day duchess.